Mortis kind of reached his peak at about time that integration really kind of came into the uh, into the rodeo business, and I know that uh, Mertis at times felt like he was being maybe discriminated against, but I never heard him once uh, complain about it. Oh yeah, I faced a lot of challenges, you know. Uh, I had a lot of guys that really helped me, and then I had a lot of guys that didn't help me, but everything worked out. We used to go to rodeos, and we never looked at, at we just thought of it as a rodeo, and he taught us the same way, that everybody's the same, no matter what, and you're just competing. He was a big asset to the rodeo business. He never was one to whine about racism or anything. He just cowboyed up and uh, had a lot of good friends, and uh, I'm proud to say that I've been his friend for a long time. You know, he never won a world title, uh, but if he'd have ridden probably 20 years later, he probably would have won a world title because he, he, he rode that good, and that's just the conversation I've had with the guys that rode in his era that they said, you know, he was just unbelievable. Murtis Dykeman, in my view, is a pioneer of sorts just because he is a guy that opened the door for other black cowboys such as myself to really step in and be able to take part in bull riding. And before him, that wasn't really something that happened. So I think that he's uh, made a great contribution to the entire sport, and I'm proud that he's getting the ring of honor. We as a family, myself, are so proud of our father for uh, receiving the ring of honor. And uh, again, this got to be the most uh, a man can never achieve. I really want the people to just think I was a nice guy. I try to help the youngsters. And, uh, you know, that's, I just want to remind me as a good cowboy. And I really think it's an honor to get it. And I really appreciate all the guys that's thought enough of me to honor me with the rain. Ladies and gentlemen, the PBR is proud to honor a true champion of the sport, Murtis Deitman. The difference after the round is 528. If he wins the average and rides his bull and Shivers bucks off and doesn't place in the average, he wins, McBride wins easily. Wait a minute, we're changing him around here. Shivers went to 750 ahead. McBride decreased that by 192 roughly. That makes 528. Where's our standings for, for the overall? We don't have them. We don't have them? No. Is that not right? Is this? That's not right. That, that, can't that, that doesn't count for, is that how we're going to buck them? No, 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 no. See, that says you're in champ. Supposedly, when they add all this together, this is supposed to update us instantaneously, which it just did. See, there's, well, it's just still changing. Help me out here, am I not, am I not right? Is, is Luke Snyder for sure the overall leader? Is that right? 650. Okay. Yeah, okay. Ozzy, if you can hear me. It was six. Okay, it was 650 difference. Chris made a ride. Put that ride in there, he didn't pick up any bonus points. Maybe maybe 10 points anyway. Yet, well, I'm not sure. It's, you know, I'm, I, 750, that's going to make it 800. Okay. 800. McBride roughly picked up 200 in that round. So 200 off of 800, 600 points. There's 600 points separating. McBride wins the round. Shivers bucks off. He wins the average is 500. He gets 200, 700. He can he can do it easily, but he, he's got to win the round. He plays second. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Tough, you're all wired. Jesus. Okay, if he got that many points, that's roughly 800. All I can do is rough figure here. I do know McBride. What do you do? Split the round? I know this is right, George. I'm going with you. I know it's right. He took 
650, the ride in his bonus points makes him 800. McBride got 190. 